Hello, in this tutorial on C++ I want to continue this uh, program which we used to make the inheritance uh, clear. Alright, today I want to show you some casting. And uh, yeah, casting. Alright, first of all let's talk over the program, the existing program to clarify everything. Alright, we have a person the class, this is the base class, it doesn't inherit from anywhere, it is the base class. Ok, it has some member like age and sex, and we will inherit uh, this age and sex uh, members to the members in the other classes. Alright, we have a constructor which is uh, which is not inherit. The constructor, detractor and assignment operator doesn't inherit. Alright. Mm. Let's see, the print function, it will be inherit, but in the other class we actually override it, so when we call this, we will be called the not this one. Although if I would delete this here and I called the, I, and I called the print, that would be printed by the person. Actually, let's do it just to show you. Alright, now we can compile the program and run the program and uh, let's see the order so as you can see first write out a person then write out a person and an employee and as you can see here the employee writes out as a simple person because uh, we deleted uh, this print function so we use the uh, print function from the base class by the way it is called derivative class because uh, it, it is derivative class uh, it inherits from the uh, person which is the base class. So derivative class, actually I write it here. So this is the derivative class and this is the base class. Okay, uh, yeah. And so we deleted this print, so it will call the base class print function which is write out just the age and the sex although there are others like salary and good which is I know what the hell is that good mean but there is so yeah it writes out the person the base class is the uh, uh, print function okay just make it back okay uh, yeah this uh, the print something function will be derived as well so inherited as well so we can call the employee and employer print something fun function although we don't write anything in here we print something all right uh, let's make a pointer okay uh, a person pointer so person pp and make it equal to the address of uh, p1 okay simple enough and I use the arrow member selection operator to call the print function so print all right and uh, yeah we can compile the program again and run the program and uh, by the way we should uh, delete this lot of crap here just uh, stay one person one employee and one employer and the pointer all right compile it again and run it and as you can see it write out as we expected it write out the data of the person so simple enough right and uh, now change this so make the pp uh, so the pp equal to the address of e1 okay you might expect that this doesn't compile because we want to cast uh, the e1 so the employee to the person although the person can although the employee can hold anything that a person can so it is a uh, it is a good casting all right so we just uh, give the sort address and it will see it as a normal person so yeah i will show you better than uh, try to explain you so print like that and uh, save it compile it and run it and as you can see it's right out as a person because uh, yeah, uh, an employee is person as well, so we can write out it as a person. But uh, 
uh, person not uh, necessarily an empo employee so it will be it would be uh, not it would be a error uh, uh, oppositely all right try the third one so pp equal to the address of employer and uh, just print it out again print it out again simple now try to compile it and run it and as you can see boss 3 is right out as a person because they are inherit from a base class so from a common class actually these two inherit this is a base class so uh, they inherit from a base class simple enough uh, so they so uh, employee is anything uh, so can hold anything that a person can the employer can hold anything that a person can so yeah you can uh, uh, cast back to a person okay and let's that's it for today and next time i want to introduce you to the virtual number function uh, virtual number function ah i will tell you then okay uh, thank you for watching and have a great day